What's up guys, it's your boy N31LE and today we've got something super special. We're swapping out the OEM wheel bearings for ceramic wheel bearings. Let's get to it. Get out the way, you got a watch, you got the time I'm raising the clock. Even in my feelings, grind don't stop. Got big dreams, one big rocks. I got plans, I got talk, but it's real cheap, but it's really gonna close. I'm trying to get these ends, So to get the front wheel off, first thing we need to do is take the calipers off. So this is gonna be a Torx T50. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come behind here and you're gonna start getting these caliper bolts out. So we can loosen this up, we don't really need that. Not everybody's gonna have this strap, obviously. So this is just the strap that I need to use to strap down my bike whenever I'm roll racing. So you can leave that hanging. And to take the caliper off, easiest thing you could do is just twist it because the brake pads are gonna be on the rotors. So you can twist it just to free up the, um, the pads from the rotors themselves. You can just pull that off. Or another thing you can do is you can get a pry bar and just pry it apart. Either way it'll work, it doesn't really matter. Now you come across to the right side and do the same thing. You can just leave that hanging. And now your wheel should spin freely. All right, so I'm gonna do this test with a timer. So this is with the OEM bearings. I'm gonna spin the wheel and however long it takes to stop, we're gonna measure the before and after. All right, so. All right, so that was a smooth, I'm gonna try to do that again with the next one. So, nine seconds. <clears throat> All right, so next thing you wanna do is you wanna come here, grab a Torx T45, and unscrew these two bolts right here. Now, there's gonna be identical bolts on this side as well. You do not wanna unscrew these. So just these two, unscrew them, and Honestly forgot I had this. Put these somewhere safe. And then you can unscrew this axle right here. So go to Cycle Gear or online and grab yourself a front axle tool and use the 24 millimeter side. So stick that in there. And loosen that. Sounds a lot worse than it actually is. <laughs> All right, so once you have your wheel off, as you can see, you've got to get the dust cap off. So use a heat gun, heat around the sides of it until it's about ready to come off or until it gets like pretty warm and then grab your flathead and just go under and around all sides of the dust cap, just go ahead and like pull that out, pop it out like so. You also want to do the same thing for the other side of the wheel. So naturally, as soon as I take the camera off, it comes out, but all you gotta do is just pop that off and put it to the side. Now, I don't plan on reusing these dust caps, so it's perfectly fine. You wanna go inside the wheel and just move this like axle slidey thingy around just so you can see like the tip of the wheel bearing on the other side and just pound that out. 
Now to get these wheel bearings out, what I'm gonna use is an 18 millimeter socket, and I'm gonna put the socket down in here against the other side of the bearing, and I'm just gonna pound it until it comes out. And I'm gonna do it evenly on both sides. one out. Let's get the other one out. There we go. And well, we got both of them out. All right, so now that we got both of our bearings out, we want to heat the outside of the wheel so that our new bearing could just slide right in. You also could match the two. I don't think it matters whether it's a left or a right. Doesn't look like they say anything. But if you need to pound them in, then do that. Also use the old bearing to get them in there all the way. Make sure you get this axle thingy back in there. Because the last thing you want is to not have that in there and then you mess up everything. That's how you know that it's all the way in there, is when that, the sound gets uh, solid. So if you can hear the pitch change, that's it. All right, so we're back over at the bike, getting ready to install the wheel. And like I said, I wasn't putting the dust covers back in. So there's no dust covers in there right now. All right, so that's not torqued yet. All right, so to torque the front wheel, go ahead and get your torque wrench, set it to 37 foot-pounds, and torque it. As you can see, the wheel's spinning. I just kind of did like a little test there, but let's go ahead and do our test. So our ceramic bearing's worth it. Let's see. So we're already past the nine second mark. And I think I spun it a little bit softer. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I think you get the point, but yeah, that's that's insane. The difference on that is insane. Yeah, I think you get the point. Now I'll say it once and I'll say it a thousand times more. PitLaneMoto.com for all your motorcycle needs. Not only BMW, Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha, KTM, Ducati, 
any bike that you name of, Zeb can get it for you. So make sure you contact them at 919-337-8667. They do have a 100% price match guarantee. They have first responder and military discounts available. So if you see something that you want online that's not on the website, contact Zeb via call or text. If you see it's cheaper somewhere else, still contact Zeb. He'll be able to give you a 100% price match guarantee. And again, First responder and military discounts are available. So if you're either one of those, you can get some more money off. Also, if you tell him your boy N31LE sent you, he might also get you some money off as well. You never know. So contact Zeb, 919-337-8667. Tell him your boy N31LE sent you, and you should get some pretty good discounts on any part that you need. So are they worth it? Absolutely. It looks like they are. Grab your two front bolts, and this torque is 14 foot-pounds. Now, my torque wrench isn't set up for 14 foot-pounds so, or anything that low, so we're just going to kind of guesstimate here. As you can see, the wheel is still spinning, so <laughs> I mean, that should tell you everything you need to know. So, all right, let's put these caliper ba calipers back on. So now that I have the spacer, this didn't look like it moved any. any. So we're going to put these caliper bolts back in. down all right I'm flying here that's destroying me right now All right, so now we come back to the rear wheel. We already took the rear wheel off before in one of my prior videos, so we already know how to do this. You gotta get the 34 millimeter axle nut. Let's go ahead and loosen this bad boy up. that off take the spacer off now you can take off your chain guard because you're gonna need to realign the chain anyway so grab your Phillips head take this bolt off grab your Torx t25 
take this bolt out. Go ahead and unclip your chain guard. Move that out of the way. Now what you can do is you can start loosening up the uh, adjustment screws. Because you're going to need to move this wheel forward to un undo the chain. And do the same thing for both sides. Like I said, a good thing to do would just be to note on the bars where the chain is. So I know when we aligned this chain the other day, it was on the fifth bar. So I know it can go back to that and have somewhat of a correct, of a correct uh, alignment when I put the chain back on. So put your chain to the side and go ahead and take your axle out and drop the wheel back. So for the sake of doing the test, I put the wheel back together. Let's spin. All right, it's a 24.56. All right. So when you take your rear wheel off, it's gonna look something like this. You can go ahead and pull this off, set it to the side. Go ahead and pull your um, rear sprocket off, set that to the side. We're going to change this bearing as well. I'm going to take that. Well, you can actually just leave this in here, but um, we're also going to flip this to the other side and take this uh, dust seal off. So grab your heating gun. My luck it's probably not going to come off for me until I turn the video off there we go and of course there's a snap ring so you got to take the snap ring out so I've got to go get a snap ring pliers Same thing you did with the front wheel. So grab your socket and just knock the uh, old bearings out. All right, so when you're taking the first wheel bearing out of the rear wheel, start on this side and knock the, um, the wheel bearing on this side out first because the one here is a uh, pain in the butt. So knock this side out first then go to the other side. It's gonna be a lot easier that way. You can do a lot less screaming. So let's knock the other side out. 
and replace these bearings. There we go. So we got that bad boy out. Oh. Now we can put the new bearings in. This bad boy in here. All right, so I finally got both wheel bearings in. Now, pop this dust cap off and take this big wheel bearing out. I want to say you can just hit the hammer on this side. So let's see. Yep. So it popped right out. Go ahead and replace that bearing. Remember this goes on the inside. So this goes like this. Pop that in there. Sounds solid. And that's how you do the rear wheel bearings. So let's put this bad boy back together and see what we get. So everything is back together. Oh. I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna put the dust covers back in. You can go ahead and put your spacer on and the spacer for this side, the right side can go on as well. Push that there. Grab your axle. And I'm just putting it back together so we can do the test. This is not fully going back together as of yet. Right, pop that bad boy on there. Okay, so for the rear wheel, let's start now. Like I said, I think I spun this one slower, so, but as you can see, it's still moving. It's even going back the other way. <laughs> but yeah, so ceramic bearings, if you want to know if ceramic bearings are worth it, there you go. Once you have your wheel and your chain back on, now you align your wheel, you um, take out the tension in your chain and all that stuff and put your bike back together. And since I already did a video on that, I'm not gonna go over that again. Just watch my prior video and yeah. All right, so once you're finished up cleaning and aligning your chain, your bike should be back together. Make sure to torque your rear axle to 92 foot-pounds, and you should be good to go. That's how you install the front and rear ceramic bearings on the 2023 BMW S1000 RR. If you liked today's video, hit the like button. 
Also, subscribe to this channel. That way, whenever I drop any new content, you'll be the first to know. If you have any comments, drop them down below. Remember, I'm here for you guys. So anything you want to see, let me know and I'll make the video for you. Thanks for tuning in.